August 15th marks the second National Ecology Day. Our Min Su Tong looks at how botanical gardens and institutions in Guangdong province advance ecological protection. Plant taxonomist Chen Zhongyi and botanical artist Yu Feng from the South China Botanical Garden have been married for half a century, devoting their lives to botanical science. Yu shared the story of Camellia azalea, an endangered species discovered by researchers at the garden. The Camellia azalea has rapidly become popular for its year-round blooming characteristics as a favorite of gardening. It's rare to find such a popular new species, and I've tried so hard to paint it. This is the center of the garden, with a history of 95 years. It focuses on off-site conservation of a plant. It introduced the most of the plant species in southern China for conservation and cultivation. And they also provide new species cultivated by researchers. As new species are being discovered, more botanical gardens and institutes are raising people's awareness of ecological protection in an innovative way. This is Pachyla nexinica, a critically endangered species, also known as the panda of the plant kingdom. It's growing right here in Yunxi Botanical Garden, along with 1,300 other species of plants that have been relocated and conserved here. Yunxi Botanical Garden collects various kinds of plants suitable for local growth and provides growing space for animals living here. Parents and children can learn scientific knowledge while exploring the garden. Our night viewing event lets you see plants blooming at night, as well as hear the sounds of insects and see animals in the garden. Lucid waters and large mountains are invaluable assets. It's a core concept in China's pursuit of environmental progress. National Ecology Day is not just a festival, but an important occasion to remind us of the continued efforts of Chinese scientists in working toward green development. Mi Su Tong, CGTN, Guangzhou.